Hello, <coughs> excuse me. Hello, friends. It's Reza, and I am here tonight to tell you guys how I do my sponged gradients. So we, I had a request to learn about this a little while ago, and I am fulfilling that request. So I'm going to use two different sponges to show you the couple of different methods I use. And colors I'm using are Sail La Vie from Sinful Colors. Um, what's this called? In the Money from Color Stay Gel Envy. And Salon Perfect's Flamingo Flare one of their neon pops. <clears throat> so what do we do? Sometimes the first coat is really just to wet the sponge and it doesn't end up transferring much color. We'll see. We'll see how that works. All right, so I'm going to do two this way. Spreading the polish on the sponge. I really like this neon color. It's a great color. And as you see, I'm kind of moving it around as well as um, painting. And it's not really getting the blue very much, so probably what I'm going to do here, there are some ways to kind of finagle your, um, uh, your gradient as you go. So I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to kind of cheat with the blue. Not too heavily, but just so that there's more blue. And that looks better. See, there we go. Now I'm going to do the second one. So you can get a feel for it. This is my favorite technique to lay down color before stamping. There are a couple other techniques I use on a regular basis. I've even finger painted a base down and I've, I do have a video on that. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Well, that is very nice right out of the gate. Alrighty, so now we're going to go ahead and top coat these. Top coat always, 
helps a gradient. It kind of brings everything together. So. All right, and top coat number two. So the second method uses a less porous sponge and it actually takes a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. with this sponge. You'll see it doesn't quite get as opaque as soon. I've only found these porous sponges recently and I'm really, really a fan. And you continue to lay down colors and dab. Once again, the blue is kind of not sticking very well, so I'm going to do my little trick. Turn this guy around. Sometimes you can dry brush it if it's really one of those polishes that's being stubborn. I'm going to give it to a count of five and then dry brush. One, two, three, four, five. Now, uh, when you do something like that, you have to stop and let it dry because um, if you go right back to sponging on the gradient, it'll actually take off that color that you laid down. So I'm gonna come back when that's dry and we'll continue, all right? All right, friends, we should have achieved a level of dryness that will mean that I won't pick up the color that I laid down deliberately. And I'm going to show you another kind of technique to get the color on really well. I'm going to roll instead of pat. And that laid everything down rather nicely. And I think things are such that it's ready and I hope that the top coat evens out what is kind of a mess up there usually does that looks a lot better anyway so those are the two methods of doing a sponge gradient we have a facial sponge and online you can get the special gradient sponges. Um, I know that uh, butometry.com sells these and I don't know what other vendors do, but I get mine on eBay and uh, AliExpress. So uh, thank you for 
being with me today and learning about the gradient. I uh, think you will fall in love with it like I have. And uh, keep an eye out for what I do with this uh, color scheme. I'm about to make a Manny. See you later.